Hi, this is William from Perma Pastures Farm, and today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of our swales. All right, now some of you might be asking, what is a swale? And a swale is nothing more than just a ditch on contour. It's a water harvesting system, and it makes the water actually soak back into your landscape instead of just running off. This rehydrates your landscape and actually makes it stay on your property. And it's a tree growing system as well. As you can see here, we have a mimosa, we have a pear tree, we have another mimosa, we have a black locust right over here. If you can see that, we have a black locust right here. And we also have another black locust, and it's pretty big right here. The main focus today is actually showing you differences in the water soakage between the different swales. All right, so this, this one right here is one of our oldest swales, and it just rained a couple days ago. And this one's only about a year and a half old. All right, so this swale right here is only about a year and a half old. And you can see down here in the ditch, we have a pretty thick mulch layer. We have a pretty thick mulch layer in this swale. And it just rained a couple days ago, and you can see that there isn't any standing water in here. It's soaked up into the land, and then the mulch has actually held it. I'll dig some away real quick. Oh, there's a mushroom growing right here, which shows that there's pretty good fungal life going on in here. But you can see that it's it's not really dry, it's moist, but all the water has soaked back into the landscape. Now, I'll show you another swale that's really new. Hasn't had mulch in it. Now, I'll show you another swale that's really new. It hasn't had mulch in it for a long period of time, and you can see the water differences in that swale. All right, now this swale is only eight or nine months old. It doesn't have as much mulch down in the bottom, and you can see you can see the water being held. It rained equally on all these swales, but this one isn't soaking in as deep. And there's the same soil over here as there is over there. It's all almost 100% clay. So the water retention is pretty high. You can actually see right over here in the water, there are frog eggs laid. A frog came by and laid eggs over here. Here's some more over here. Here, you can get a better view of them right here. You can actually see the frog eggs right there. So a swale not only harvests water, not only grows trees, but it acts as a miniature little ecosystem. And what we have planted in the swales, we have some comfrey right here and here. We have an Arkansas black apple. We have a blueberry. We have some zinnias. Um, pretty much everything that would make sense to put in a swale we put. Here's Chloe. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into our youngest swales. And you'll see this is the swale that we actually put the sweet potato vines in the other day, right here. And the reason we did that was to increase the drainage and increase the soakage into the landscape. Over here, we have logs that are cut up just from clearing the woods that you see behind us. We have some logs that are cut up and put in the bottom of the swale. Uh, for the same same reason it acts as a mulch layer it eliminates the amount of water that's going to be evaporated into the air and it increases the drainage back into the landscape and you can also see in this swale because the clay hasn't been broken up as well as the older swales you can see that there's water still in this one like right right over here you can still see the water in the swale it still hasn't soaked into the landscape yet because that clay hasn't just been hasn't been broken up yet by either the fungal mat or the bacteria so now i'm going to show you our youngest swale so this right here is our youngest swale and this was a bit of an experiment we went deeper on the ditch which created a bigger mound um I think we went about almost two feet deep on the ditch and as you can see there's still quite a bit of water in this in this swale you can see down here in the bottom that there's still quite a bit of water in this swale now we don't have any trees planted on this swale yet because when we dug it it just wasn't the right time to plant trees it was in the middle of summer so what we do have is a cover crop of uh 
we have a cover crop of cowpea and buckwheat. And you can see there's still quite a bit of water in there. The water drainage on this isn't nearly as good because there isn't that bacteria, bacteria or fungal mat that's breaking through the clay and allowing it to soak into the landscape. So I've shown you the swales, some of the swales that we have in the different stages of uh, drainage depending upon how old they are. And they're all uphill from this pond right here. The swales that are uphill of this pond will actually end up recharging this pond in the future. The water will eventually make its way down through the landscape and recharge this pond. Um, and as you can see right now, our pond is pretty full. And we have, I don't know if you can see them or not, but we have these uh, Chinampa fingers dug out in the pond on the pond edge to increase the edge of the pond and it increases uh, production. As you can see, this pond looks pretty healthy. We have an aerator going right now and this pond is actually getting the entire catchment of this whole pasture right here in the back that you can see. This is William from Perma Pastures Farm. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you next time.